to Martha's Kitchen where we cook and serve with love. And in this video, I would like to say a big thank you to God because we've just celebrated our Independence Day. The 1st of June is usually our Madaraka Day or Independence Day and I'm so grateful to live in a free country where I can do my business and move around freely the way I choose. We take it for granted, but I've realized that it's a great privilege and I'm excited to live in a free country called Kenya. And in this video, I would like to teach you how to make lime juice. This is so amazing, especially for those hot days when you just need some quick refreshing juice that you can come home and drink or enjoy throughout the day. So let's go ahead and make our lime juice. So I'm really lucky because for the lime juice, I don't need to go to the market to, to get limes. I do have about three lime trees that have taken about 10 years to grow. And now I can enjoy the fruits because after about two and a half years, they start giving you a lot of limes. So this one has so many that are ripe. I've been picking them up for the last three, four months. And it still has so many. And when they ripen, they just drop like so. You can see. So I don't even have to pick them from the tree. I'm just going to pick them from the ground. And every morning when I wake up, there are about um, 30 or 40 limes that I can do juice with. Or some I can just put in the fridge and do whatever I want. So it's totally awesome. So let's go make some lime juice. And here are ingredients. You will be needing water. I normally use one cup of water to five limes. Then here are our freshly picked limes. Really smelling awesome. So I have about 15 limes. And if you're buying at the store, it will be about a quarter kilo of limes. And then I do have some sugar, which will give you that taste. And also, if you're making a lot of lime juice, your sugar will help to preserve your lime juice in the fridge for a couple of days. So let's go ahead and make our lime juice. Step number one, wash your limes. Remember, we did pick them up from the ground, so I have gone ahead to wash off the dust and dirt. And they're nice and clean. Make sure, as usual, that because you're working with your hands, your hands are also nice and clean. And then we do need a cutting board in which we're going to slice our limes into half, like so, diagonally, because you need to squeeze out the juice. And for this purpose, I usually like to use a fork to squeeze out the juice. And then I do have a ball over here with a sieve. So I'm going to squeeze the juice inside like so. You can see it coming out. Limes normally have a lot of juice. But the good thing is, even if it'll look a little bit to you, it really catches with the water. And so you find that you don't need a lot of limes for your juice to taste. So you're going to find that a few limes will give you a lot of juice and it will be just awesome and taste really great. So you do need to continue with this process of cutting and uh, juicing until all your limes are nicely cut and juiced like so. So go ahead. This should take you roughly, I guess, five minutes because it's really easy to cut your limes. And like I said, 
you cut them across halfway so that you can juice them easily. You don't cut from the top over here where there's the eye. You cut from the middle over here the other way around and you can see the center and the seeds. So go ahead and do this until you're done. Excellent. So we've juiced our limes real good and squeezed everything we can get out of them and got it our nice yummy lime juice. So we're going to go ahead right now and put in four tablespoons of sugar. Remember this will preserve your lime juice and also give it that really nice taste because for hot days you do need a little bit of energy and it does come from a little bit of sugar in your system. So you can lift it and just mix it until it dissolves so that it can dissolve even better once you've added the water. And our sugar is done. Then go ahead and put in your three cups of water. I did say that I usually use one cup of water for five limes and then give it a really good mix like so till the water integrates with the sugar and the lime juice. The good thing of sieving while you're juicing is once you're done with this process, your lime juice is ready. So go ahead right now and pour it into your jug like so. And oh, you're going to have three fantastic glasses of lime juice. And now we're going to put it into the fridge for a good half an hour so that we can have it nice and chilled. Excellent. So let's go ahead and taste our lime juice. Mmm. 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 This juice is so refreshing. I love citric fruits because they have that thing in them that just makes them absolutely amazing. You will love me for this. So go ahead and try to make this juice for your family at least once a week. And if you like the recipes that I've been channeling out every week, kindly press the like and the subscribe button and let's meet here every Mondays for a new and exciting recipe. And don't forget that this recipe is typed down in the description box down below. So have yourselves a great week and